Hello, it's Mr. Magic again, and I'm going to be spectating a different build today. This is a really awesome build. This is by far one of my favorites, because it's actually unique. It looks just like a puncture build, but it's actually got a twist to it, and uh, you'll see that. Um, the special part about this build is, rather than just having a normal bow, um, this is Fightgar, by the way, um, he has a bleed on hit bow, which you can get from Tora. And uh, what's really cool is you can pair that with um, the clone arrow and the mirror arrow and blink arrow. And the mirror arrow and uh, blink arrow, they actually puncture themselves. So you can kind of puncture people past walls. So um, it's actually really cool. <laughs> hey, spectator. I don't know who that is. Uh, Two-handed... Kind of looks like Joffrey's. I don't think it's going to go too well. Oh! Also, you'll see Fikar has a Facebreaker weapon swap, which is also really crazy, and it does insane damage. Uh, this is such an awesome build. Very unique. You probably won't see any other build like this. Round one. Fight. Uh, his quiver... I don't know what he's using. I think it probably might just be a rare um, Fizz Quiver. Um, or Rear Guard. Rear Guard is a very good defensive Quiver. Am I spectating the wrong person right now? No, I'm not. Okay. So you'll see that his clones actually puncture the character, which is really funny. And he likes to spam those a lot, so it gets really confusing as to which... Um, Oh, and I guess he uses Ondars too. Yeah. So, just like Nami, you'll see that it's going to be really hard for other ranged characters to actually hit him. Um, although, holy crap. That's the power of Facebreaker Cyclone for you, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. It's fun pillar dancing. This looks like a pillar build. Pillar of the Caged God. Kind of odd to use as a shadow. You'll mostly see that. Oh, we don't actually know. Nope, it's just a a bow character, which will probably <clears throat> get wrecked, considering Fikar has Ondars. So uh, we'll see. And like I said, one of the problems with using Blink Arrow and Mirror Arrow, I've said before, is they give a, a lot of flash charges, which can be a problem. Flask are a really huge problem. <laughs> you can see his opponent was probably pretty pretty confused when he saw him starting to cyclone. That's why I love his build a lot. It's because uh, <laughs> it's just completely out of the nowhere. Now I think uh, Facebreakers does give a 60% crit multiplier, which is pretty cool because I believe he has uh, a lot of crit probably around 20%, so if his opponent ever gets hit by a crit, it's pretty much GG. Now, Ondars is not going to help him against a caster, so this is probably going to be a fairly problematic matchup. <laughs> As you see here, his opponent is probably pretty confused. Has no clue where that facebreaker just came out of. Um... His face breakers seem to be corrupted with vulnerability on hit. Yeah, his opponent just ran out of bleed flasks. At that point, it's pretty much good game. Once your opponent is all out of those. Christopher. This is the other puncture character we've been seeing, so I think it should be interesting. Puncture versus puncture. I don't think he knows that Fikar has... Face breakers on swap. So, it should be interesting. Now, I don't know if it, if Fightgar is using Parandus Shield, which uh, gives a lot of block, life, and some resistance, or if he's using a rare shield. Because if you use a rare shield, you can get a little bit more um, flat physical on your um, on your character. Oh. That was really, really close. A little too close. Now you'll see he gets punctured right there. 
Christopher just got punctured from his um, blink arrow character. His blink. I don't know what to call it. Clone. And it actually does an insane amount of damage. And the reason for that is really interesting is um, minion damage. Uh, any sort of minion damage, it double dips with the bleed. So it'll make the first puncture do a lot of damage. And then the bleed which scales off that damage also gets um, upgraded by the minion damage. He just wrecked that guy pretty hard. So we'll start, yep, hedgy PvP. Starting to get into the more uh, PvP veterans now. Some of the better people. So I'm really curious how Hedgie's build is going to compare to Fightgar's build. Hedgie might have a little bit more um, damage on his bleed, but Fightgar definitely has more utility. Which, and we'll see which one turns out to be better, just going pure damage or a bit more utility. Now I'm not sure if Fightgar has. Oh, just got out of that. Fikar does have Ondars, which doesn't seem to be helping too much. We know Hedgie does not have RT, but just have an insane amount of accuracy. And uh, that's the great thing about Tornado Shot is... Ouch. Hit a puncture trap there. But anyways, Tornado Shot is actually pretty good against anyone who's running evasion because it hits so many times that you're bound to at least get some hit in versus hitting or not hitting with like puncture or um, ice shot burning arrow now yep this is gonna be same matchup with another puncture character I'm surprised we haven't seen more of Nami haven't seen him play Nami yet the ice shot character. That's another good thing about a uh, fight guard's build is you can uh, use your blink arrow and just get right next to your opponent with uh, face breakers which is something most fakers ba face breaker builds are missing is a lot of the movement. A lot of people just rely on quicksilvers which sometimes just isn't enough if your opponent is really good at kiting. Um, this is against a caster. You can see that, uh, oh, he has dual curse, elemental weakness, and, um, the cold one. I can't remember what that's called. But he's, <laughs> oh, I just love that. But anyways, yeah. Fikar's cold res is probably pretty low there. Um, that's probably minus 30 with Ellie weakness and minus 25 with... It's probably like minus 55 cold res there. And not many people are overcapped. Fire Ferris. This is the two hand build. And I'm, I think Fire Ferrets might be a reference to Avatar. I'm not sure though. Really gotta love his skin though. The Reaper's Scythe. With the ghostly effect. <laughs> but he gets out meleeed by Fight Guy, which is pretty impressive for a mostly bow character. Round one. Fight. And the smoke mine that he uses there is just for the extra movement speed. Um, he might have it linked to increased duration. Increased duration is really good for smoke mine because it, uh, it sort of triple dips. It increases the duration of the mine, increases the duration of the smoke cloud, and it uh, increases the duration of the movement speed that you get from it. So that's a really good one to put increased duration on. I don't see too many people using smoke mine though. Um, not sure why. I usually like to play it a lot of my. Uh, EA build, Explosive Arrow. Really good for kiting. But the thing is, you can only smoke mine um, when you're in the clear. Like, if there's a barrier between you and the smoke mine, it will not let you um, uh, teleport back. 
And you can use, see that uh, Fikar uh, just got out of that freeze right there. He has a anti-freeze flask, sort of like this one. Immunity freeze and chill during flask Round effects one. and uh, removes, removes fleas and chill on uh, use. And typically you want an ample one with the extra charges so you can use it multiple times. Ooh, this is, this is going to be, a, yeah. That's, uh, oops, I don't, I don't know. I guess he forgot to switch to face breakers or something. Not, not sure what went wrong there, but he kind of got wrecked. Round one. Fight. Roshak. I think this is uh, another puncture character. He seems to be doing fairly good against normal puncture characters, especially with his um, uh, face breaker swap, which probably surprises a lot of his opponents. I mean, eventually after, I mean, we're pretty new to the season, so a lot of people don't know what builds each other are playing. So there's going to be a lot of confusion on how to counter each other. But I can assume that after a while, people will get used to each other's builds and figure out counters and swaps. And figure out your opponent. Uh, I think that's kind of what he's doing. He knows not to get too close to fight Gar, because he knows he has that face breaker swap. Now I don't think Fikar has as much evasion as Nami, and he's definitely out of bleed pots, you can see. Or just out of all potions. Oh, can he clutch this one out? No. Uh, that's too bad. I think they're both from the same guild there. Well, maybe not. Fikar is from uh, Calamity. Round one. Fatigue. Fight. Hmm. Formidable XXXV. He's got the MTX on his character, so you know he's at least somewhat good. Holy cow. Red team wins. <laughs> you can see there he's <laughs> he pretty much stacked the crap out of Castwin's stun there. But it didn't seem like it did him very much good. Round <laughs> one. Fight. Maybe it was melee. Maybe it was just melee with a bunch of cast and stunned. Holy crap. Oh. They're just going ham. And in the end... <laughs> Haunt's World says, wow. <laughs> oh. Panicked for the win. That is some very good pot usage there. It's a it's a skill in its own to be able to use panicked and um, get it right on the money. Because if you don't use it while you're on low life, it's not going to give it to you instantly. So you got to be really good at using your potions. Potion management in and of itself is a very tough thing to get down when you start doing LLD. Um, one thing you want to make sure is you don't want to use one potion like too much. How it works in PvP is after every round each of your potions gets charges. So what you want to do is you want to spread your um, you want to use all of your potions like one of each so that at the end of the round you get flash charges on each of them. But if they're already full you won't get those flash charges. Oh, he's got more bleed pots. This is pretty much just going to be a battle of who's got more bleed pots. And, well, I don't know if Fight Guard has anymore. You can see he's using granite pots, um, which is seemed to help quite a bit for these bleed matchups. It'll... Oh, okay, well, that's the end of it. So... I'll see you next next uh, build. See you later.